Hey, welcome back everyone. In this video, we are gonna be talking about what's known as the analytics base table, or ABT for short. So this is one of the terms that I picked up from that book I mentioned in the first video, predictive, shoot, I always get the name wrong, data, <laughs> oh gosh, machine learning for predictive data analytics. And this is basically a term that means all of your data in one giant table <laughs> with tons of rows and instead of typical names we're used to such as columns and stuff we're going to have some new terminology that's specific to machine learning that allows us to better describe what we're talking about so this is the table we were working with in a previous video I'm going to basically describe this in terms of an analytics base table so these are now known as features or uh, some people call them attributes. They describe the data. There are two types of features. There are descriptive features, and there is also the target feature. So inside of an analytics base table, there's only going to be one target feature, and there's going to be numerous descriptive features. The target feature is the result. What happened? What are we trying to predict? that is going to be stored in the target feature, which in this case is whether or not they had diabetes. There we go. So if we wanted to categorize our data, we would have descriptive features and a target feature. So the descriptive features describe the thing, and the target feature is what we're trying to predict for future instances. Okay, so now what is this data describing? If we had one value in here, what is this called? Well, this is an instance of what we call the predictive subject. All right, so let's just break this down. The predictive subject, that is the thing we are trying to make predictions on. In this case, the predictive subject would be a person or a patient. An instance of that is one particular person or instance. Having these new words allows me to describe things with less talking. So I could say the target feature and you automatically know I'm talking about this one rather than saying, oh, we're talking about the, the column that has the end result. So having these new words actually is going to make things easier rather than more complicated. Now that I have these words defined, there's a couple other things I wanna talk about that are going to help you understand the analytics base table just a bit more. The target feature, that is key. That is the most important thing in this entire table. If this was empty, it would be like we have this person who's a male, who's less than 50, and has a family history. We have all that data about this person, but we don't know if he had diabetes or not. So this would be null. That is useless to us because we're not able to predict future occurrences because the historical data is not complete. We don't know the end result. Additionally, now that we have these descriptive features, we can start thinking about what are the descriptive features that are going to be the most valuable for my situation? What descriptive features are going to be best for our predictive subject of a patient or a person? You can start thinking about what things are going to somehow correlate with diabetes. Machine learning, all it is is taking descriptive features and finding correlation with the target feature. So that's the analytics base table. Hopefully that'll help you guys out when you're working with machine learning. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video where we'll be, uh, I think we're gonna be starting a new topic. So it's gonna be cool. Be sure to check it out and please be sure to subscribe. Thanks.